SA-17's Volume 4 very first movie review so bear with me it won't be the best Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li is the second live action based off the Street Fighter series of video games uh oh it follows the quest of Chun-Li who plays by Kristen Crump the story is all about Chun-Li personal history the journey for justice I'll post a let's see director written writer music and distributed by 20th Century Fox on the description box later on played in four different countries it was released here in the United States February 27th 2009 which was last month last week Japan next day on the 28th so I'll give you all the cast such as Neil McDonald as Bison Chris Klein as Charlie Nash Michael D Clark Duncan as Balrog Taboo as Vega Robin Shu who played a character from Mortal Kombat as Gin Mo yeah, Moon Bloodgood as Detective Maya Sun Lee, aka Crimson Viper from Street Fighter 4 as the new character. And the rest and the three more I'll post it up there on the description box as well. And the shooting locations Bangkok, Thailand, Hong Kong, China, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Reno, United. Nevada in the United States and Herlong, California in the United States. Now, the story is good, but there's some major plot holes. I'm only going to give you two. First off, how in God's green earth Bison and Rose are father and daughter? If my memory serves me right, I don't remember Bison and Rose being father and daughter. I checked on wikipedia.org and other websites dealing with Street Fighter series is nowhere to be found because it doesn't exist. Last I heard, they were teacher, student, mentor, whatever. So, secondly, secondly is Gen working, used to work for Shadow Law? No. No, that, that that's just not going to cut it with me. That's not cutting it. So, last I checked, he's assassin in number two. I don't remember hearing anything about that. So, that's just Hollywood for you. Now, the direction the film was average. Now, the reason why I say it's it, it's good because it's focusing on Chun Li and including the story as well. But it took it took too long for the fact it was focusing more on Charlie Nash, Detective Maya Sun Li, aka Crimson Viper. I don't care what anybody says. So there you go. The fight scenes was disappointing. And I'll give you a couple reasons. One, China, I mean, Chun Li versus Vega. Are you for real? And number two, number two, Chun Li versus Bison. I won't spoil that for you, I promise. I promise. Now, acting. This is where people have completely. Rip this movie not just for the act not just for the fight battle sequence it's basically the 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 acting Kristen Crone as Chun Li she did one superb job the only tiny bit problem is that you know that dance off with another chick it was funny but most People think that was a bad idea, thinking that, you know, <clears throat> you know, it, 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 it was seductive in a whole 10 yards, and, and the dancing was completely corny. I didn't have a problem, but that dance-off with another chick was kind of, 
caught me off by surprise. <sighs> Neil O'Donnell as M. Bison, he had that that evil, st- sadistic, psychotic, SOB attitude to the point where it was like, man, that is, that is Bison. But just a little tiny bit problem. Where's the where's the suit? Where, where's the red suit? Where's the hat with the skull with the wings on it? You know the live action uh, movie of Street Fighter from 1993 or 1994. Now that's Bison, but he played Bison. He had the attitude in Bison, and that worked me over. That won me over. Uh, let's see, Michael Clark D- D- Duncan as Balrog, great. Robin Shue as Gin, he did good. He did real good. So I have no problems. Now, here's what I have. A, now on the cons, I had a problem with 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 the cast. Detective Maya Sunley, eh, whatever. What else? Oh yes. Chris Klein as Charlie Nash, Mr. Oh, I'm a player. I crush a lot. Attitude. Man, you ain't no player. You ain't even crushing anyone. I mean, his acting was so beyond cheesy to the point I'm like, are you serious? Now, as for Taboo as Vega from the Black Eyed Peas, a hip hop group, he was non existent and plus he was weak. He was weak. How can... No, I'm not going to spoil the fight sequences for you. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So, as a Street Fighter fan, I give this movie a D+. Poor effort. They could have put... They could have spent more time with the fighting sequence and make sense of the story instead of trying to, you know... Trying to be all cool, I'm like, hey, let's th- add more than the spice, and it, it, it did. It didn't do anything for me. And plus, it was boring to the point I almost fell asleep. I was sitting there yawning, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that's over. <clears throat> Woo! Now, as a movie fan, I'm taking off the Street Fighter gear. Toss it aside, I'm giving this movie a C. Average. Good and bad. There's some good things about the movie. But there were some bad things. It, it's 50-50. I was, at one point, I was going to say this movie was the worst of 2009. But after watching it twice, the second time I watched it from the internet... I don't feel like paying 10 bucks for a movie. I said to myself, this is disappointing. You would think that it would have been better instead of being worse. I mean, Hollywood just didn't even try to promote this movie at all. I mean, this was like non-existent. And plus, I didn't, I had like, zero expectations of the film but you would think it would have been better you know what i'm saying oh wow this just <sighs> if it wasn't for kristen crump michael clark duncan neil donald's superb acting that movie would have went straight down in the tubes it would have got way it, it would have been Really, really, really bad. But as a Street Fighter fan, it was disappointing already. So, that's my final grade as a fan of movies. C. As a Street Fighter fan, D+. Poor effort. Hollywood, listen to me. Stop making video game movies. Stop making movies based off video game series. You screwed up. Resident Evil, you screwed up Mortal Kombat, the second movie, 
you're just going to do it again. Stop already. And with that, this review is over. It's not the best. Let me hear your thoughts.